Hey everybody, welcome back to the Miser's Guide to Ebony. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the updates that came out just a few days ago. Apologies for getting it a couple days later. I was sick this weekend, so it kind of limited what I was able to do, but we're going to get into it. There are four mails that we need to talk about. I'm going to start with the Wheel of Past Secret event. A lot of this stuff is just like repeats, so I don't need to go through it in detail. Uh, the Wheel of Past Secret, yeah nothing unusual it's just the wheel and you spin and you can pay money to get more stuff nothing surprising there the children's day preview is the main one that has all the information of the events that are currently out uh king's party yeah sure cats and dogs event we haven't seen this before there is a new decoration collection cats and dogs that's weird i guess during the event time, players can obtain the new castle decoration, Pet City. <laughs> this, is it just me or is this like, what? Cats and dogs, Pet City? What is this game coming to? Okay. Anyway, there's the Alliance Carnival event again, where you can get refined iron helmets from resource bots and monsters and bosses, of course. And you can get the rare gold ones from packages and basically, you just use those items to get points, and the points allow you to get rewards. Trial of Knights is the Ares, Blood of Ares consumption event, where you can get things like more Blood of Ares, or you can get random generals or specific generals, depending on what you want to redeem your rewards for. Uh, historical general summoning event. Yeah, the usual stuff. Um, but the best part about it this time is you can get the new... General Edward Teach, who's a pretty cool pirate guy that we're going to look into in a little bit. Historic City searching event, the usual treasure hunt event. So nothing extraordinarily new about all of this stuff, except for the general and I guess the cats and dogs pet city. Wow. That's still a wow thing. Um, before I get into the general itself, let's talk about this server raffle. The newest way for Ebony to leech all your money out of your wallets. They're excited to announce the server raffle event. And in this one, you can purchase Lucky Star packages to get raffle draws and win stuff. Maybe, maybe not. It's just another money sucking event. And you can tell by the number of downvotes. Here's mine. That it's just not something that is a great addition to the game. It's another one of those things that they add to the game, not to improve the game, but just to find a way to get more money. And I'm all for a company making money. You know, that's that's what this game is for, right? I mean, they it's a business. But the content that you release should be beneficial to the game, not just pay us more money. That's it. Okay, let's get into the main reason why we're here. The only real addition to the game is the new general, Edward Teach, who has an awesome graphic. I love this graphic, and uh, he's one of the few generals that I go through and I actually read the lore because I found it interesting. I was like, oh, there's a pirate. And uh, yeah, he he's the pirate dude that stands at the helm of Queen Anne's Revenge, barreling towards the British naval base at full battle speed. Like, I actually, I didn't mind this. Nice little uh, general introduction there for a pirate general. Okay, so let's talk about this guy. He's got a special skill, Queen Anne's Revenge. Increases siege, machines, attack, and defense by 30% when he's leading the army. And when you see text like leading the army, it means offensive and defensive. So that's a huge bonus. Increases ranged troops and siege machines attack by 10% when you equip a spirit beast or a dragon. 10% is great, but, you know, like if you don't have the dragon or spirit beast, he's still very much usable. I mean, 10% isn't a game breaker. And, you know, you can just throw a spirit beast on as well. A dragon is definitely preferred, but, you know, like he's he's going to be a good general whether or not you do that. Uh, siege machine attack, 5%. So these are the, the ascension bonuses, right? We've got the attack increase, defense increase. We've got the usual... Troop death into wounded rate, but we've got more siege attack, more siege HP, more siege attack and defense. Pretty solid increases there. The specialties, 
We've got more attack and defense for siege. We have a little bit of range, but siege attack again. We've got siege attack, HP and defense on the third one. And the last one is a big increase to siege attack and siege HP. Overall, like just looking at this guy, you can you can tell that he's a contender for the first spot. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to overtake Zuka, who has been at the top for a long time. Edward Teach, I'm pretty certain here is going to be the number one pick for most players, uh, main siege general, and he'll probably be an excellent uh, assistant as well, just based off of these really strong specialties. So he's one that you should definitely consider. I mean, especially with the fact that he can be used offensively and defensively um, with all the siege rallies. I mean, getting some siege marches in there to defend. Yeah, absolutely. This guy can be used in those circumstances. So he's versatile and he's very powerful. I think, uh, I think compared to Zuka, he's higher in almost every area with the exception of maybe March size. I think Zuka has a, really good march size but overall this guy is going to be stronger than zuka and he's going to be topping the uh the list of what players want out of a general all right that's about it for this update video thanks for watching um i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel if you liked what you saw please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the miser's guide to ebony i'll see you in the next video